Good afternoon. Now imagine yourself as a business owner and you're pulling up to your place of business and you notice graffiti everywhere, vandalism. So what does that mean to you? Does that mean kids just being kids? They're getting bored. They don't have anything to do. Or worse yet, does that mean there's gangs moving into the neighborhood, your neighborhood? Well, it's been my experience with the business owners and the community members that I know that this makes them feel frustrated, even threatened. Or maybe that's not a concern that you, that you have. But what that does for us is that motivates us in becoming a part of bringing a sense of unity back into the community by giving that home, that business, your neighborhood, a fresh start. My name is Victor Rubelkava, and I'm the president and CEO of Fresh Start Painting and Sandblasting. I would like to introduce my co-owners co and team members, Vice President of Administration, Brian Marty, Vice President of Production, Trent Anderson, and Vice President of Sales, Curtis Hallsutter. Now, we strive to become Oregon's most recommended painting and sandblasting contractor that specializes in graffiti removal. We're located in Portland, Oregon, and we're servicing the greater Portland metropolitan area. And now for the problem and the solution portion, I give to you Trey Anderson. Good afternoon, my name is Trent Anderson. I would like to start by sharing with you what valve I bring to this team. I have 13 years experience in the painting and sandblasting industry. With that, I bring proven production methods and efficiency to the company. Now I'd like to talk about the problem as we can all imagine. The pain of vandalism caused by graffiti is very real in so many ways. As a consumer, when you see a business with graffiti on it, you don't feel safe, so you take your business elsewhere. For the business owner, that equates to loss in profits, not to mention property values plummet, which in turn affects everyone in the community. As these repairs might be but one requirement of their time as leaders and managers of, their businesses or households. We want to take it personally. We strive to be the solution with over 60 years combined experience in the painting and construction industry. We understand restoring whichever type of surface the graffiti is on back to its original condition. It is not an easy task. With our expertise, we are confident that we can and will give that surface a fresh start. Now to explain the business model and underlying magic, here is Brian Martin. Thanks, Trent. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brian Marty, Vice President of Administration. The value I add to this team is my 20 years in the commercial painting industry. I'll be working hand in hand with Mr. Anderson on efficiency and production, and also with our employees. Our business model with our small labor and sales force, we will locate leads in the residential and light commercial industry in the metro area. We will be bidding jobs for materials and labor. Materials will be purchased at the time of the bid acceptance. Labor will be provided by us at Fresh Start. Future business will be obtained through our ongoing sales strategies and programs and the communities. It really sets us apart at Fresh Start. We believe in using recycled materials and products whenever possible, which helps us save you money. We also believe in giving back to the community by becoming a part of the real solution. How you ask? It's simple. By employ employing those in recovery and those transitioning back into the future community, not just providing them with a paycheck, but teaching them a skilled labor trade, which will last them a lifetime, while aiding and restoring their self-worth and sense of pride in the community, we believe our employees can and will become productive members of society. 
We not only believe that every wall deserves a fresh start, but every person deserves a fresh start also. With that, I'm going to hand it over to Mr. Hossetter for sales and marketing. Good afternoon. Thanks yeah. for uh, spending a little bit of your sunny Thursday with us. Um, my name is Curtis Hossotter. Uh The value I bring to this team is my 10 years in construction and my 7 years um, in sales and marketing. I used to sell advertising and meet with business owners on a daily basis. Um, what we decided to do, that our, you know, our strategy for the first year are, are going to be pretty effective. We're going to capitalize on the digital age and we're going to go ahead and have a, our designed website and we're going to use e-marketing to get in front of as many potential clients as we can when they're searching for our services. We also use traditional direct ma uh, marketing such as mail outs, yellow pages. Um, we also have really nice yard signs and a really distinctive van for our first year out. We also believe by putting ourselves in front of our interior designers, home builders, and the Real Realtors Association, as well as attending town hall meetings and community events, we will be able to shave, uh, save fresh, fresh start values and practices by, by building long lasting relationships in the city we love. With all this done in a professional manner by the, the four founders of this company, we will affect uh, efficiently maximize our potential customer base, which in turn will allow us to locate leads in the residential and light commercial markets, promoting more of a reoccurring customer base in our future. As far as our competition, there is about five other people out there that are doing graffiti removal and painting that we know of. Um, not too many are, are really concerned with giving back to the community and uh, maintaining an environmentally friendly and drug free, and alcohol free workplace such as Fresh Start. Now I'd like to hand you back over to Victor Ruvacalvo to talk about our financial projections and our coming company startup. Hello again. Before I explain the financial projections, please allow me to share the value I bring to this company. I have 23 years experience in the construction industry, with which 11 of those years as the general manager of that time the largest tile installation company in the Northwest. With my leadership and management skills, I possess the knowledge and determination to propel this team, this company, towards success. So now for the financial projections of the nuts and bolts of Fresh Start. So as you see, as you can see, our customer base is, our potential customer base is over 330,000 potential customers. We understand we cannot capture all 330,000, at least not in the first year. Our projections are based on a conservative job cost average of $2,100 per job. That's 600 of that being <coughs> material with a 20% margin and uh, labor 1,500 of that being labor with a 30% margin. Now we project our one-time startup cost being $22,500. Now for the first year, we project our expenses being just over $196,000. And then you add our one-time startup, uh, startup cost brings our total expenses for the first year to just over $218,000. Now we believe by bootstrapping, we can come in contact with a 6% of our total customer base, potential customer base. That equates to 20,000 potential customers. Now, we project capturing a conservative three quarters per of a percent of that, equating to 150 jobs in the first year. Now, bringing, that would bring our total gross sales to $315,000, now minus our materials and expenses, giving us a profit of just over $21,000 uh, roughly 6.8% net profit. Now for our second year, we project needing to hire one employee. Although this will raise our expenses to $232,000, just over that, it will double our production rate by having two two-man crews. Now capturing 1.5% of that 20,000 potential customer base, this includes a 5 to 8% referral from the previous year, 
bringing our job totals to 300 total jobs that year. Now our total gross sales are $630,000, minus material and expenses, of course, giving us a net profit of $249,768. That's roughly 40%. Now for our third year, we project we'll need to hire one estimator and two more employees to give our sales and labor force a little boost, including 8 to 10% referrals on previous work and us owners doing our part, we project capturing now 2% of our potential customers and our new estimator capturing three quarters of a percent of 12,000 potential customers we feel that he or she can come in contact with in that first year, giving us total jobs of 490 jobs for that year. That is a total gross sales of $1,029,000. Now minus, of course, material and expenses, gives us a net profit of $457,042, roughly a 44% profit margin. Now for the fourth year, we anticipate needing to hire four more employees to handle the projected growth, bringing our labor force to five two-man crews. Our expenses then will go up, obviously, $443,400. Now including referrals, and a small portion of return customers, being in our fourth year, we anticipate capturing 3.5% of the 20,000 20, potential customer. And our estimator now capturing 1% of his, potential, his or her potential customer base. Now bringing our total jobs for that year to 820 jobs, giving us a total gross sales of $1,722,000, minus, of course, material and expenses, bringing our net profit to $861,040, roughly 50% margin for that year. Our fifth year, this is what gets exciting. Now, this year, we see ourselves becoming more efficient. Got to get and figure, it, figure things out, and we can handle the growth with the crew that we have. So, our, of course, our expenses stay the same as your four, including referrals and return customers capturing the same 3.5%, and our estimator now putting his nose to the grindstone, capturing 1.5%, bringing our total jobs to, conservative, to a conservative 880 jobs that year. That's a total gross sales of $1,848,000, of course, minus material and expenses, giving us a net profit of $953,260. That's roughly a 51.6% profit margin. So now for the status and the goals, a fresh start. Currently, we are four individuals with hopes and dreams. We are looking for an investment of $218,604. That amount will cover our one-time startup costs and our operating costs, our operating capital for the first year. Now for our goals. We project by the end of the third year having one year's worth of operating capital in the bank with investment capital, uh, with, in, with net profits left to invest. And by the end of year five, having three years worth of operating capital in the bank with investment potential left. Bringing our total liquid assets to over $1.3 million and investment capabilities to over $1.2 million. Now, we understand our plans and projections are ambitious. We are conservative in our thinking. It's well within the realm of reality, though. We know with dedication and determination, we can start fresh and achieve success. Thank you very much. Now, any questions? Shy. Don't be shy. Okay, I'll, I'll go first. All right. <laughs> so, at, uh, over the last uh, five years, did you suggest straight line expenses or did you take into consideration inflationary rates as an impact overall profitability? What we did was we, we averaged it off of that $2,100 uh, 
being a modest um, average with interior and exterior paint, painting. That's it. That's it. Set at a uh, dollar forty a square foot. Now we know we know that it will you know could go up, but being a, setting a conservative average was um, a little. Um, we felt a little uh, better to broadcast our our projections. Thank you. Anybody else? Yeah. Well, you spoke about. Um, having the expertise of removing the graffiti. You didn't talk about how you would go or what chemicals you would use. And you also said you were going to focus on residential and light commercial. Are you basically looking at specific geographic areas or are you taking the whole metropolitan population and percentage of that? The, the, the whole metropolitan population, um, we are with. To answer your first question, with the, the different um, ways to remove the graffiti, mm -hmm. it all depends on the surface. Now, if it's brick, we'll be sand. You know, there's sandblasting involved. Um, could be some painting. Um, if there's, it, it all depends on what the type, what the scenario is. Um, and then the, it, yes, we will be um, focusing on the greater Portland metropolitan area in the residential and light commercial markets because we won't be just the graffiti removal we specializing in that but we'll also be painting um, houses and light commercial work not getting too big in the commercial market um, to sustain our sustainability for for year-round work and uh, I'd like to add to that uh, there will be chemical will be chemical free there's not chemicals that we're going to be applying to the walls it's going to be all uh, non-toxic uh, like soda blasting, uh, clean blast, which is copper shillings, and uh, it will all be cleaned up after the end of the day. So it's, it's good. Yes, sir. You talked about using recycled materials and uh, as a means of saving your customer base money. What kind of recycled materials? Uh, how would that work? Our biggest recycled material will be using recycled paint from Metro Paint. That saves you at least 40% right off the top. And that's one of the, the big things that we like to do. Uh, it not only gives back, by taking all the leftovers that everybody has, we're going to recycle them, put it back on a building, and make it look fresh again. Along, along with our tape and paper and everything, we recycle products as well. All right, well, thank you very much for coming.